Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be showing how to use Steam leaderboards in Godot 4. This is the third part of my Godot Steam series, so if you have not already set up Steam in Godot, I recommend checking out the previous videos. To get started, let's head over to the app admin in Steamworks, scroll down to where it says Achievements, click on Stats and Achievements, and select Leaderboards. Here we can set different items on our leaderboard, such as a high score or any different type of stat. First we have the internal name, so high score, and here we have the name displayed to the community, so the highest score, and since we want to display the scores from highest to lowest, we'll do descending. We'll keep numeric the same, and the rest of the values the same. And finally, press create. And after reloading the page, you'll see we have our high score, and we can even view scores from here. Back in Godot now, we need to reference our leaderboard object. To do this, we'll create a new variable called handle. We'll just set this as an int for now. In the initial function, we'll type steam dot leaderboard find result, and we'll connect that to a function we'll call leaderboard results. And then we need to create this function, leaderboard result. So go down here, create a new function called leaderboard result. And we need to pass in two arguments, one being the handle and one being if it was found or not. And I'm actually going to go ahead and rename our variable up here to board handle. And now let's check if found, then we'll set our board handle variable to handle and we'll go ahead and print leaderboard found and if it wasn't found we'll print leaderboard not found and now in our ready function we'll call steam dot find leaderboard and we'll pass in that internal name that we set before so high score and now if we press play you see leaderboard found now, for the sake of this tutorial, I don't actually have a game to show this off with, so I will just be creating a button that will set a high score. In your game, you can call this function when the game ends or any other time. Let's create a button. I'll just call it set score. And I will move it up here and I will connect it on press to our script. And now in here, let's type steam dot upload leaderboard score. Let's enter in our new score. So let's just do 1027. And now if you press play, we press set score. And we head over to our Steamworks, reload the page, and we view scores. You'll see we have a new score by player GWiz set to 1027. Now to actually be able to download these scores into Godot, we'll go ahead and create a new connection. Steam dot leaderboard scores downloaded. And we'll connect that to a function we'll call leaderboard scores. Now it's going to create this function. So copy that function leaderboard scores. We'll pass in message handle and our results. For right now, we only really care about the results variable, which is a dictionary. We can go to Luther by going for R in results. Now R will also be a dictionary that will contain both our score and our user ID. Let's convert that user ID to an actual name. So variable name, we'll set that to steam dot get friend persona name. And we'll pass an R steam ID. Now let's also create a variable called score to R score. Now we go into print username, the space and our score. And for right now, we're just going to call this function from inside of our leaderboard result. So we'll do steam dot download leaderboard entries with a starting range of one to 10, which will get the first 10 entries. Press play. We'll get GWiz and 1027 since I don't have 10 entries. Now let's say we want to get the scores of specific players. So comment this out, call steam dot download leaderboard entries for users, and we have to pass in an array of our user IDs. I have stored my Steam ID into an ID variable, so we can call an array with that ID in it. And now if I press play, I will get GWiz 1027, but that's because that is getting my Steam ID name and my score. As always, I will be leaving a link to the Godot Steam documentation in the description down below for you to learn more about leaderboards. Anyways guys, I hope you found this story helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.